What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike's Life. Today we're we'll looking at a new pressure washer. It is a new version of a pressure washer that I've already reviewed from Giraffe Tools, the Grand Falls pressure washer. This one here is the Pro. Now looking at some stats, they're showing that the difference between the two is gonna be that you're getting a metal gun, you're getting a metal foam cannon, hardened water inlet hose, replaceable high pressure hose. So with the original, the hose that was on there was non-replaceable. And that was one of my complaints with it. And this one here is a replaceable and it's a soft hose. I know the one that comes with it which you guys already saw in the little uh, video that I put up, the clip, that that's the hard hose pressure wash, that hard plastic rubbery thing, it's no good. So as they also state, it has an ultra soft, high pressure washer hose. This one here has an induction, induction motor, the other one didn't. So, and with the induction motor, the noise level, the DB, that's gonna have, it's gonna be between 80 and 82. The original was 90 to 93, so it's gonna be a much quieter pressure washer. Now, service life with the original one, the regular version, the one I reviewed, you're gonna get about 100 hours use of it. That's what they're saying, I guess that's like their minimum. I mean, you might get lucky and get more. But with the new version, I think it's two to 300 hours more life span on it which is great. And the ratings for the PSI on this one here is 2,500. The other one that I reviewed was 2,200, but actual pressure that I had gotten when I had done my test was 1,600 PSI. I remember doing the testing on the original one, the one that I have mounted up on the wall right now, and I got, like I said, 1,600 PSI, and with the nozzles that they provided, I think they were 2.5 millimeter orifice on the sprayer nozzles, I got about 1.2 gallons per minute. And then when I did the modification where I put a 3.0 on there, I dropped the pressure on it to a thousand and I got about 1.5 to 1.6 gallons per minute, which was a big increase, which is better. That's what you want. You want anything that's at least 1.5 to two or even more than two gallons per minute of water because the more water, obviously the better, faster cleaning, and you want to be around when you're doing car. This is strictly for cars, what I'm talking about, for washing cars. You want to be around that 1,000 PSI. Now, when it comes down to you doing your regular maintenance, cleaning your driveways, furniture, and so forth, you just use what they give you. You use the nozzles that they give you, and it does just fine. I mean, I would have preferred a little bit more uh, pressure with it than 1,600, but yeah, this one here claims you're gonna get more. So we're gonna do that test. We're gonna, I'm gonna demount the one that I have right now up on the wall. I'm gonna unbox the one that I got. I'll show you guys what I got in the box. We'll mount the new one up there. I probably won't have to use a different bracket. I haven't opened the box yet. It might be the same bracket. If it is, obviously I'm not gonna show you guys how to mount it with the bracket because I already have the bracket mounted on there, but I'll talk about it a little bit. And then we'll do our tests. We'll see what the pressure is with what they give you, the flow of water, and then we're gonna see if we could make it even better for car washing. So inside the packaging, they'll give you the user manual. You'll get this little tool, and this is to unclog the nozzle. If you ever have a clog in the nozzles that they provide, you stick it through the orifice, and this is to unclog it. And then you get this little bag here, and this is what I was talking about. These are the nozzles that they provide. This is gonna be the hose inlet that you're gonna use. You're gonna mount this on the pressure washer, then you're gonna mount your garden hose to it. Over here is gonna be all the, basically they give you these uh, bolts here and a level. So this way you could mount the bracket to mount the pressure washer up on the wall. This here, which right now I'm not sure, I'll let you know what this is. And here's for the pressure washer. This is the top part of it, and you can see this is a metal construction. All right, the hose is a little bit on the stiff size on this. All right, this is where you could Turn it to the left, and this is gonna be just strictly water. Turn it to the right, and it's gonna do water and soap at the same time. That's how you get your foam. Then you just turn this here for the spray pattern. And here's the wand attachment, and they do have this rubber piece here, a little storage compartment where you could put your nozzles that they provide. You could just stick them inside here, which is pretty cool. You have your quick connect here for the nozzle, and then this is gonna screw into the wand gun that they provide. Almost forgot, they also, this is the bottle for the foam cannon. It is a tiny bottle, but well, yeah, let's not talk about this yet. Let's see how it performs. And here's the gun that they provide. It looks a little different than the, the previous generation version. Plastic, yeah. Me personally, I would upgrade all this stuff like to what I have. I'll show you guys that later in the video. What you're gonna do here is this piece here, 
and this piece go together. You don't need to use Teflon tape or anything. You're just going to screw this in and tighten it down. And here's the jumper hose that they provide, but I'm not going to be using this in the video because I do have my own custom jumper hose, which I'll show you guys later. And here are the units side by side. You can see the big difference is obviously cosmetically. This one had the black hard rubber hose. The front panel here is different. This one here has a gray hose. Feels to be softer. We'll check this out later when we unwind it. Then you have this orange insert that you see in there and a plexiglass over it. This does not open or anything. It's not like a storage cabinet. It's just more for design, for looks. On the side, you're gonna have your handle, just like that one. A spot for your little soap dispenser, which will be right here. This is gonna be your inlet for water garden hose, which is here and you can see mine is custom. I put an elbow. And I put this hose, this is from Home Depot. This is hot water heater piping and I just got all the parts for it and I just put it together. You just gotta go to Home Depot and mess around with fittings and so forth. So I have a direct line here. I do have a quick connect here. If I need to disconnect this and remove, I should add a quick connect here, but I might do that with this one here. And then on the other side, you're also gonna have the other side of the handle, your on off. Over here is gonna be your power, GFI. And this is where you could put your wand hang it off here so this way it's like a storage purposes and the bracket that goes on the wall that slides into here is the same one so i won't be doing a bracket install i'm basically going to just remove this one and tie it in to this one now i looked in the manual to find out what this is and they don't tell you where this goes so anyway we'll see as we go on the hose itself they have it stuck inside here this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass to get it out it's in there and this is all greased up so oh uh, yeah it's going to be a little tricky getting this out actually it wasn't tricky at all all i did was just turn this and it came out the stopper seems to be different much better stopper than this one here was like a rounded ball yeah this one looks much better the mechanism you can see the mechanism there how it looks and then on this one here different so they changed that up so obviously for them to change it this is probably going to be better and then inside here we're going to unwind this to see it but you have your connections for your water hose like i said this is replaceable in the future if you decide you want to upgrade maybe put a different color hose you want to do your own hose that you have you could install it here and then over here if you want to shorten this down there's a couple of screws there you unscrew it you pull it down and you size it up to where you want to the way i did with this one you're gonna see here it's short it just hangs down like that and on this one here obviously it's got a longer hang down so i'll be changing that so i've removed the pressure washer there's the bracket this is my original bracket which should work it's the same bracket got the pressure washer right over here and now i'm just gonna lift this up and slide those rails in right through here There we go, it is in place. Let me see, make sure it's nice, sturdy, yeah, looks good. It's exactly where the other one was before. This is where my connections are gonna go. So I'm gonna try adding quick connects. There's the attachment that they provided, and this is gonna screw in directly into the unit right there. But the thing is, I think with the quick connect, it's gonna bulge the hose out a little bit more. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna add the quick connect on here. So I'll grab this piece first, Put it on and it does have a washer inside so there's no need for teflon tape a lot of people make their mistake where they try to add their garden hose directly on here they mess up the threads i've seen it everywhere and people then start knocking the device that it's leaking water from here and so forth no it's because you didn't add this you need to add this before you put the pressure washer i mean at the pressure washer the garden hose onto it your garden hose attachment your water attachment we go. i'm just gonna hand tighten it I'm gonna hand tighten it and if I get any leaks, that's when I'll use a channel lock just to tighten it and snug it up a little bit more. But mainly stuff that have O-rings already built into them, you don't need to use no uh, Teflon tape or go crazy with them, tightening them up. So we have this piece here, but before I put that on, this is where I'm just gonna put this elbow. Remember, this is optional. This is all custom stuff that I did just to make my life easier. All right, if I need to make adjustments later, I'll make them. And then this is gonna go right inside like that. All right, I think it caught, yep, it caught the threadings. And also here, I'm just gonna hand tighten it. All right, everything feels good. Everything feels tight on there. And there's the water connection. So now I got a Phillips head screwdriver here. I'm gonna untighten this so we could adjust the hose and put it right where I like it. 
And you're not going to fully take this off. You're just going to screw it. I think there's two. Yep, one on the other side right here. This should spread open. See, it needs a little more. There we go. Actually came off. So what I'll do here is just adjust it right where I want. I think, yeah, that's the hang I want. So I'm going to tighten it up right here. So I'll put that back in, put that back in, snap these two together and just tighten it down. And don't fully tighten one side. Start it off, go to the other side and start that off. Do everything evenly and tight. So now you could attach directly this part here into here for your pressure washer gun, or you could add quick connects. It is a M15, so I got M15 quick connect here. So this would just attach right to the gun. And again, you don't need to put no Teflon tape or anything, O-rings. There's O-rings in here that make the seal. All right, so that's in there. Now we're gonna put the other side here, the quick connect. And here it is, I took it off my other pressure washer. This is gonna slip right inside here. And you just tighten it down. You could do it by hand. It's fine. It's going to get snug. You should be fine right there. Like I said, if you do have a leak, you can grab your adjustables, put it in here and just give it and make it a little bit more snug. That's about it. And now because it's quick connect, it's just easy, quicker to put that on and off. And if you decide you want to change the gun, they usually come with quick connects. You're already all set. All right, turn the water on. I had no leaks. You can see on the floor, dry, no leaks powered on. I thought I was recording and I wasn't when I originally recorded this, but before you turn the power on in the machine, run the water through without a nozzle. Make sure to just into like a bucket or on the ground, make sure to circulate the water because you want to get all the air out of there. And just in case there was any debris of any anything inside the hose, you don't want it to get stuck inside your nozzle. Even though they give you the tool to unclog the nozzle, Run it that way, get all the air out, purge it, then put your, your tip on there, and then you would power on the pressure washer. Let's turn it on. There we go. You can see everything connected, no leaks. It's pressurized now. Beautiful. I've already purged the system. I have my pressure gauge over here. Before we do a test to see water flow, or actually PSI, let's unwind the hose. All right, so I'm gonna stop it there. It is a 100 foot hose. I have it all tangled up here on my feet, but I just wanna show you the internal part here. We'll turn it and right there is your connection. If you need to replace the hose. And now, let that hose go back in. Like I said, it's a 100 foot hose and I love the guide on here because it's basically just gonna put it right back into place. There we go, it's tangled around my foot there. Very nice. This one actually seems to be working better than my, my other one. And I dropped the gun. There we go. Now we're going to check PSI. They said it's rated 2600 max rating. I doubt we're going to get anything close to that. My previous one with the stock nozzles, I had gotten about 1600 PSI. And now let's check this one out. And this one's the 25 millimeter or the 15. Doesn't matter which nozzle you put on. You're going to get the same PSI. They're all the same orifice. If I'm not mistaken, it's a 1.8 millimeter orifice. You can see there we're getting about 1700 PSI. And then when I let go of the trigger, you hear the machine. Ooh, did you hear the squeaky sound? It even makes a squeaky sound. It didn't do that before, now it's making that squeaky sound. We've heard that on other pressure washers. Let's do that again. I'm inside now so you guys can hear the pressure washer. Turn it on. And I will let go right now. Whoa, that noise is annoying. Let's do that one more time. The hell is that noise it's making? Could it be that there's too much hose wound it up while using it? Let's unwind a little bit. We'll do a little test. All right, do that. Turn it on. And who the hell is this right now? some truck making noise. It figures shit like that would happen while I'm recording a video. At least there's no airplanes here, right? All right, one more time. All right, I turned it on. Let go. All 
why it still makes that weird whining sound. Now we're gonna test the gallons per minute on this pressure washer. I do have the stock hose on there. There's the bucket, measurements on it, and the stopwatch. <laughs> I love that sound. So that looks to be around five liters. We'll just do it at five liters exactly. So five liters, we get 1.32 gallons per minute. It was running at 1800 PSI. So remember, it's a new machine. The more it runs, it's gonna build up. That motor's gonna get better and better, forming pressure. So 1800 PSI, what it was registering. All right, now I got two nozzles here. This one's gonna be, it doesn't matter if it's a 25 or a 40 but this is a 2.5 nozzle and this is a 3.0. Let's try the 2.5. I got it on my short gun. This is my MTM gun. Doesn't matter which gun you use, they're all gonna do the same thing. So I got it on there. I'm gonna stick it inside here and you guys could see the pressure. All right, this is with a 2.5. <laughs> All right, so we're getting 1,100 PSI with a 2.5. Remember, with the other pressure washer, the original, I used a 3.0 and I got 1,000. So we got 1,100 with this. So let's swap this out and we'll use this one here. This is a 3.0 nozzle. <laughs> 700 PSI. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little shocked there. So. 2.5 is what we're gonna use. Now we're gonna test and see how much water we get, gallons per minute with the 2.5. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. So checking the water there, we have, uh, that barely increased. That's like five point i would say 5.2 liters well, there's a calculator so let's say we click on it and we do 5.2 yeah that's 1.37 let's say 1.4 gallons per minute that's a decrease in gallons per minute compared to the original and remember these stats that i'm doing here are strictly if you're getting this if you're a car wash fanatic washing your cars, pressure water, with pressure washers, and you want lots of water flow, yeah, this is why I'm doing it. This is not for the use of cleaning, like your driveways and furniture, what the majority of people are gonna be using it for. This, these tests here are for the fanatics that are strictly, that want the car wash stats. All right, I got the foam cannon set up. I put one ounce of fluid in there with some water. Doesn't have any markings on here. This is a small bottle. I usually use two ounces of uh, Adam's megaphone. I'm gonna use my short gun in here because putting a foam cannon on a long gun is kind of weird. We're gonna demonstrate. I'm not gonna do it on the car. It's very sunny out. I don't wanna put soap on it. Just gonna put it here. We're gonna see if it sticks on these garbage cans. All right, let's do it. around the house. All right. <laughs> that sound. Not bad. See it sticking on the house. You can see it. it's not running or anything. Pretty good. Actually, the foam cannon is not bad. This is what should have came originally with the first version, in my opinion. All right, it's been at least five minutes now and it's still sticking on there. So not bad. Let's rinse it off. Give my garbage cans a nice cleanup. So Mike, what are your overall thoughts on this pressure washer right here? Now, when it comes to cosmetically, the way it looks, I like that they added the orange there. It goes with the theme of draft tools. The hose, love the hose on here. Is it better than what I'm using already? My hose, no, but it's a huge improvement over the original hose. I like that you could service it. Foam cannon, I like that they're including the better foam can, as you guys saw the foam that I sprayed on the house on the garbage cans, actually looked pretty good on there. It was nice and thick. So really like that. The motor, it's not loud. I am conflicted over this motor that's in here. I like the motor, but the sound it makes afterwards, that whining sound, it's, well, it gets funny after listening it for a while. 
it gets funny to me, but still it could be kind of annoying too. The other motor didn't do that, but the other motor on the original one had more of a, a loud, it was louder and it did a knock sound at the end. This one here seems to be a much better motor, but the whining sound at the end, mm. And then when it comes to production, now this is gonna go for the people that are into the car washing. That's what they're looking at. They're looking at getting this for car washing. The old one produced more. 1.6 gallons per minute compared to about 1.4 on here. Yeah, this, to make a long story short, this is gonna be for, this pressure washer is, if you're a hobbyist for car washing and a GPM, which is gallons per minute snob, this is not for you. No, this is gonna be for that person that has it, wants it mounted in their garage to do some light cleaning around the house that doesn't know any better. The dude that has the refrigerator in his garage and he likes to drink beers, that's who this is for. For the car detailing nuts, I don't think that's for them. As a secondary maybe, if you got the money and you just want a secondary, you want that on the wall, yeah. The way I have it right now set up, I have my two pressure washers. I got the active here, my pressure washer hose over here, water filtration. It just looks sweet, this whole thing here. If I'm not mistaken, I was the first one to do this to have two pressure washers on a wall in a video. I've searched, I couldn't find anybody else. And that's with the other pressure washer that was mounted on here from Giraffe Tools. Now going into some more pros with this is that you could service this. It's easier to service. You could replace the hose that's on here, which in my opinion is a huge pro. The other one, you couldn't do that. Now I know there's gonna be people gonna be wondering, how much does this cost? When the original came out, before it came out, it was marked as $600. And when it was released, it was released at $300. This one, the pro version is marked at $600. So I don't trust that price. I think it might be replacing the other one and this might end up being 300 or I could be wrong. If I was to guess on what it might cost when it does release, it is stated, like I said, at 600 for this. That's pricey, in my opinion, for this here. I don't know if I would spend it personally, $600. But I could see this going for maybe $100 more than the other one, like 400 for this. I could see that, but 600 no. All in all, I thought that I was gonna get better numbers with this. When it comes to my uh, pressure, I am getting better numbers than the original. I know that they mark it as, what is it, 2,500, 2,500 PSI. You're never gonna get what it's marked. It's basically, I think it has to do with initial startup, the PSI. So you're never gonna get that 20, but you are gonna get about 1,800 PSI with this. The original, like I said, was around 1,600. So you're gonna get a little bit more pressure with this one here. But remember, with the original, they gave you 2.5 millimeter orifice to get that 16. This one's a 1.8 to get 18. So they actually are controlling it to get that a little bit higher PSI with this one, with the orifice of the nozzle. And this is where it comes down to why we didn't see this get better numbers when it came to GPM water flow than the original one that I had up here. The whining sound that it makes at the end, that mm, I don't know if that's natural, that's supposed to do that. Uh, maybe draft tools. I know it's hard to communicate the, with them, to let them know about that noise that it makes. It could be a natural noise or not. It could be my unit. Remember, these are pre-production samples that they sent. If they tell me after seeing this video, no, it's not supposed to make that sound, and they do send me another one in the future to replace this one, I'll do another video showing you guys to make sure that it doesn't make that weird whining sound but I have heard that sound on other induction motors. So there you go, guys. That was the video for the Grand Falls, the new version, the pro version of the Giraffe Tools wall-mounted pressure washer. I'll throw a Giraffe Tools link down below if you guys to check it out. Also, uh, if I find an Amazon link for this, obviously when I'm recording this, it's not on Amazon yet. I think it's gonna be releasing sometime towards the end of September, if I'm not mistaken. But keep an eye out, I will update this video with links down below. I'll even throw some links on some other stuff, some of the accessories that I used and so forth down below. You'll see there's gonna be links to all my favorites, which are down there, so check them out. There you go, once again, thank you Draft Tools for sending the new Grand, Grand Falls Pro version pressure washer to me for review. And once again, thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Life.